Genesis chapter 28 is the story of Jacob fleeing from his home to Mesopotamia because his brother Esau wanted to kill him for cheating him out on their father's blessing. We did start about that in the last episode. That is episode 27, specifically in verses 41. If you haven't already watched 27, please pick it up on our YouTube channel. Simply search for a handle Abdi Ministries. Or you could also find the same on our website. That is www abdiministries.org so since Rebecca had appealed to Isaac to send him away that is to send Jacob away in verses 46 episode 27 it's very possible that Jacob needed more convincing not yet understanding just how hungry his brother Esau really was so sort of Isaac called him and commanded him to go to Rebecca's brother's household in Padan sorry in Padaram to find a wife Finding a wife was more of an excuse, but literally he was sort of running away from his brother's anger. But before he left, Isaac, that is his dad, blessed him again. And uh, though this time, he gave him what we call the Abrahamic promises or the blessings of Abraham, including a version of God's promises to Abraham, as we did see, or we shall see in verses 3 to 5. It was at a later stage told to Esau, that Isaac, you know, commanded Jacob not to marry a Canaanite wife or a woman, which brought to him the realization that his parents weren't pleased with his two Canaanite wives. At this point, remember, Esau had already married two Canaanite wives. Possibly, uh, in an attempt to regain some of his father's approval, Esau decided to take a third wife one of the daughters of Isaac's son, that is Isaac's, sorry, half-brother's, uh, half-brother Ishmael. Ishmael was that boy that was born to Abraham through Sarah's handmaid called Hagar. We'll start about that in verses 6 to 9. So on the road, uh, that is when Jacob was moving to Mesopotamia, he, 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 he was, you know, it, it got late, he was still on the road, it was night, so he decided sort of, you know, to bed down on the ground. And so in that, in, in, in doing so, he had a dream. In this dream, the Lord appeared to him on top of a ladder. And uh, this ladder was connecting between heaven to the earth. And on that ladder, there were angels that were descending and ascending up and down. Then the Lord repeated to Jacob some of the very same promises that he had given to his father or his grandfather, Abraham. Some of which were that he will give Jacob and his descendants the very ground that is actually sleeping on. Uh, that also will make Jacob's offsprings as the dust of the earth, you know, spreading from one part of the earth to the other. That all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through one of his offsprings, uh, which we know today being Jesus Christ. We'll start about that in verses 10 to 14. But more immediately now, the Lord told him that he's going to be with him He's going to keep him safe and uh, he's going to bring him back to the land of the promise. We'll find that in verses 15. So, Jacob woke up, overwhelmed, you know, by awe and fear. And as such, he called this place Bethel, which literally means the house of God, and set up a stone pillar to commemorate his port, as we'll study that in verses 16. To verses 19. Finally, Jacob made a vow unto the Lord, and he said that he's going to be, uh, that in fact, he said that if God will be with him and provide for his needs and bring him back to his father's household in peace, he will make the Lord his God. He will worship him at this very place where he's sort of putting this stone as a pillar. And that he will give the Lord a tenth or ten percent of all that God gives him. There is our summary of Genesis chapter 20, 28.